What's up YouTube? This is John Helm with Helmwood Shop and Smithy, back with another knife making video. If you remember a while back I had a video where I made a batch of these knives, but then I had some issues with my grinder. I had some subsequent issues with a couple of the knives themselves, and I set them aside and they just kind of sat there forever. Well, I started working on uh, one of them as just sort of a side project when I was waiting for glue to dry or for a blade to temper or what have you, and it came out really cool. Beautiful knife. I really like this little knife. I kind of wanted to keep it, but it's already sold, so before I get to anything in the shop today, I need to take this and drop it in the mail so it can head to its new forever home. And after that's done, I will be back in the workshop making a knife for myself. Today is my birthday, and apparently that means that I get to celebrate for a whole day my ability to survive for yet one more year. So that's what I'm going to do. I noticed uh, I carry around a crappy little pocket knife, and <laughs> honestly I'm kind of embarrassed to pull it out in front of people that know I'm a knife maker, because they're always like, why do you have that? <laughs> so I figured I should probably make an everyday carry knife for myself. It should be a little bit over the top as far as size, I think. It should be surprising when I pull it out and show it to someone because it's, uh, you're basically carrying around an advertisement with you. All right, I got all that out of the way, so now it's time to make this knife. epoxy before mm -hmm. smelled like chemical dog poop <laughs> <laughs> whiff of turd but also whiff of like you might have children with foreheads all children have foreheads oh my 
You know what I meant. So now we're just going to find the first hole. Switch out to the quarter inch drill bit. Okay, so now uh, we're going to trace the outline on the outside of the scale where you can see it well. How she's able to do all this work with one set of super flimsy latex gloves is completely beyond my comprehension. I would have already cut my hand 20 times, ripped a hole in a leather glove, burnt myself. <laughs> perfect unless you do it like with a, a caliper. So now that this is in place and I have a plunge line set, I'm going to coat that with dicom. All right, now we're going to scribe in the bevel lines. So you just go to the width, however far back you want your bevel to go. difficult to fix, but it's not too bad. I got it. Looks good.
Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I love this handle. It is really heavily contoured and it really just locks into your grip. This knife is not going anywhere. It feels just extremely secure and it indexes really well. Definitely going to be using this design as a prototype uh, when I'm designing knives in the future. I'm also a huge fan of this double hamon. I've never gotten very active hamones and I tried the interrupted water quench this time. It did come out better, but I don't think that I left it in the water quite long enough. When I watched the video, uh, I realized I really just stuck it in there, pulled it right back out. And of course you want to leave it in there for a three to four count. I guess I was just um, panicking because I just took a red hot knife and stuck it into a bucket of water. <laughs> but anyway, I know to be a little bit more risky with it next time and hopefully I'll, it'll pay off in the form of bigger, bolder hamones. I'm pretty stoked about this knife. Uh, it seems strange being a knife maker, but I've never had a really cool knife to carry around for myself because I'm always making them for other people. And sometimes I will make one for myself and then, you know, just being nice, I'll give it to somebody as a present or whatever. So now I need to figure out a way to carry this. I'm gonna have to have a sheath made or maybe try to make one myself, although I did that one time in the past and it did not turn out well. <laughs> So thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate all the views and the likes and subscriptions that I get. So if you like what you saw on the channel today, hit the subscribe and the notifications bell so you can see more of it in the future. And until next time, thank you all for watching. Have a good one.